What we got? Right, 1950 Pontiac Chieftain. Silver streak. I'm not sure what the silver streak means. It's probably a trim level or something like that because it's got quite a lot of chrome on it and bits and pieces, isn't it? Um, customer wants the brakes sorting out because they're binding, not working properly. So obviously, pop the wheels off. I know that side front's binding and that side rear is binding. Fuel gauge doesn't work. Gear linkage is bad, which is not uncommon on these things because it's all just rods and bushes and stuff, so that all of that's probably worn out. Yeah, fuel tank, he thinks it could be leaking, but I think it was probably coming out of that um, pipe, I'm not sure. I've got a list here. Right, brakes bind, sort them out. Gear shift bad. I've got a wobbly throttle pedal, which just needs rebushing, I'll do that. Fuel sender, um, and check the tank for leaks. It runs, but it doesn't run properly, so I'll have a quick look at that for him. And that's it, really. So basically a health check, you know, just go through it and see what's what. Have you worked on these ones before? No, but they're all very, very similar. They're all a big straight six engine. Single carb, straight six engine. I'll hold it up because the springs are gone. Yeah, nothing. Like it's got a slight water leak there, little little tiny bits and pieces, you know, just go through it. Uh, the head hood emblem, see that? Red Indian, Pontiacs are an Indian tribe, I believe. Okay. And that should light up. Oh, right, okay. So um, I'll try and get that working for him. Yeah. Just little bits and pieces, only going to take sort of 10 minutes, you might as well do them, you know? But, but mate, basically it's the gear shift and the brakes that he's worried about. Well, the first thing to do is make sure the gear box because what it is you can start it sometimes and it will just jump itself into gear yeah so that needs addressing because you could just start it and dry i was i had to sit in it and run it so I, I couldn't do any adjustments on the car because that was in front of it and if it jumps into gear we just got an all yeah. mighty mess so um so we get it up in the air we'll have a look yeah <laughs> That's spinning nice and free. A bit of play on the wheel bearing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Just a touch. That's binding. Playing the wheel bearing again, which is nothing to, you know, not no hardship. Little bit of bind there. A lot of bind there. So it's just strip the brakes out and have a look at it all, you know. It's been sitting a long time, I would imagine. These tires. You heard of the shop Sears and Roebuck? Sears. All state guardsmen. They stopped making those 50 years ago. Wow, okay. <laughs> so they're, they're old tyres. So what would normally cause the... Uh, the, the Just sitting for so long. Okay. Or somebody's had a go at them and really has balls them up. But normally it's just where they've been sitting. The pistons get stuck in the, car in the uh, slave cylinders. That'll be why the fuel gauge doesn't work. Quite possibly, yeah. But we could probably pop him out and have a look. It's got a drain on it, but whether I'm brave enough to try and undo it or not, I don't know. Because normally it rips a big hole in them if they're knackered. Um, the exhaust isn't done up there. So that's all flapping around. It's hitting on the chassis there. So when you start it, and it's blowing quite badly somewhere. So we'll have a look at that. Um, fuel pumps leaking at the front here, I noticed. It's new fuel pump, so just pull that out, make sure the lines are okay, you know. Get that fuel line there, or vacuum line away from there. See, nothing's done up yeah. really. So it just needs a going through on the pipes. Right, so your gear shifter mechanism's up here. These are rubber bushes, yeah? That aren't doing anything. 
they're all worn out everything's worn out you see the movement up there on that one look see it yeah. that should be held straight there yeah and the way it works is that top one there see that'll be in second and third okay and when you pull that out see the whole thing move out of the top one yeah yeah so that will then let you select first and reverse but that is shifting too easily it should be what they call indent balls in there they call them poppets but indent balls come down here and are spring loaded so that pos is a positive lock but that isn't locking anywhere yeah so that literally the weight of the gear lever if you start it yeah will just clonk it into gear right so i think the indent ball springs are probably broken so i'll ring him this morning but i can't see as he'd say no we'll just pop the gearbox out because it's literally take the prop shaft off take that out four bolts gearbox comes out yeah so it's only a 10 minute job realistically um, and that will give us a chance to make sure all of this in here is working properly see that spring there is just a rollover that locks it in but that should you shouldn't be able to move that by hand realistically it should mm. be on the indent balls it's got some rust here that he knew about so i'll let him know that i think he wants to come down and have a look underneath anyway which is fair enough yeah that's your underfloor heater probably put some new pipes on that looking at them you see what i mean it's things like that while you're under here because that could just split and you lose all your coolant yeah it's silly things like that that it's worth doing you know shouldn't the, uh, well, the brake pedal and the clutch pedal are out of line like one's a lot higher up than the other yeah so we can adjust all that that's easy enough to do the plate that goes on the floor so there's a plate on the outside a plate on the inside and none of it's bolted up so obviously somebody's had to play around with the pedals and stuff but you can adjust them all so i'll just adjust everything up properly how it should be so first thing is brakes yeah probably pop the wheels off and have a good look at the brakes you can't get wheels off which is why they make these removable i'm not quite sure how these ones work but we'll have a go And they're called rear spats. I call them rear spats, fender well fillers, I'm not and they just go out of there somehow. So all they do is go in there and that locks them in. Maybe you want to jiggle. these work is that drum there most modern cars you can just undo the drum yeah they have a screw cut screws there but these you have to take them off from the wheel bearing right but what i need to do first is see if i can back that off on the adjuster because it's so tight yeah right well, let's do the side that i know is going to come off and then we'll see what's going on inside there be a split pin drums are a little bit scored but nothing major brake linings are quite well down so it'll need it does need new brake linings at some point where are you looking for that just the thickness of what you got left here look so it will, it will need a set of Pistons are leaking. See that brake fluid pissing out of there? Look. Yeah. So they all need stripping down. I've probably got pistons for it. 
Um, but again, this is basically at the moment an assessment to see what's wrong, you yeah. know. If he wants it spot on, I'd get a complete brake rebuild kit for it. There's no point in messing around, you know. Right, you see that build up on there? The lumps. Yeah. And there, see, look, that's crumbling. That's where it's had brake fluid on it. And obviously, drum brakes create dust. That's dust soaked in brake fluid and embedded in there, they, they've had it. The pistons aren't stuck, which is normally what they do. I don't want to press them out at the moment, yeah? Because I'll have brake fluid everywhere. Yeah. So I'll just take them all apart and we'll have a look and see what we've got. It might be worth just getting a four new cylinders because they're no money. You probably get a set for a hundred dollars or something stupid, you know mm. what I mean? It's, it's better to be, I mean, you can hone them out and you can put new, I've got a big drawer that full of, that's full of all spares, you know, they'll be that size, you know, there's loads of it in there, it's just cars with, you know, there's new pistons in there, look, all sorts of stuff, but if the actual inner area of where that piston and seal goes is rusted, you'll mm. never stop them leaking. Realistically, for the money, it's a no-brainer to, to do it, you know? You might be able to find them in England somewhere, I don't know. There'll just be a standard part number on them. But rule of, rule of thumb normally, if when you peel a rubber bat and there's fluid coming out of it, they need changing. Yeah. So they're fairly new. You see where they ground these down. All of those things should all be copper slipped up and move freely. Yeah. So again, it's probably just where it's been sitting for so long, you know. It'll sit on the handbrake cable. That's see solid, so but I think you're looking at a whole brake overhaul realistically. Yeah. This is like that, yeah? yeah? Because those two don't turn, they've had a little bit of movement in them, they push those pistons out a little bit more and it's just locked them on. So get the wheel, sometimes you can get away with just smacking them with a big hammer and they'll just release the brakes back in. Other times you have to undo all these adjusters um, you have to keep playing around with them. You can get them off, but they're just generally a pain in the arse. You're a smack and see what happens. Not worth putting them back together realistically. A little bit of scoring in there, not the end of the world. Yeah, so brake fluid dripping out. Gooed up. So that's worn. See, look. That's supposed to be asbestos and rock hard. I just peeled a lump of it off with my finger. Not so bizarre. they're all saturated in brake fluid, they, they've had it. Sweet. Again, see solid. You get away with the rear brake linings, possibly, but if you're doing it, you yeah. might as well change the fucking lot, you know. Twat. God <gasps> damn it. Yeah, you can tell all this sort of stuff, look. That's all brake fluid. The dust should just fall, it should be dry and just fall off, you know? Mm. When it's caked on there like that. Oh, this looks 
used up solid. Shouldn't be anything tight in there at all, should all be free moving. Mm. Clearly, it isn't. Well, this was the worst one out of the lot, wasn't it? Yes, for binding, yeah. Shows you though that was you could have driven that. And that was one brake working. Wow. <sighs> they should you should be able to get hold of those with your fingers and just go like that. Yeah. So there they clearly not very well. Okay. Well that's assessed the brakes. <laughs> 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 Technical terms again. Yeah. <laughs>